Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. If you are, hi, my name is Hermione and on this channel I like to share with you how you can craft your best life on a budget. And in today's video I'm sharing some DIY wall hanging ideas. So if you've been around here for a while you probably know I love making yarn wool wall hanging thingies. I'm just kind of slightly, ever so slightly obsessed with it. Today I'm going to be sharing with you how to make lots of different variations of wall hanging to spice up your bedroom a little bit and the best thing is they're all really easy to do. So without further ado let's jump right into it. <laughs> So the first project I'm going to share with you is this wall hanging with circles all the way down it and a big tassel. It is so, so simple to make, but I love it so much. I think it's my favourite out of all of them just because it's nice and minimal. So if you want to see how I made it, keep watching. To create the circular shapes, I used a piece of thick faux leather fabric and just drew circles on with an old glass and a pencil. I cut these out, creating the perfect circle shape. And then once that was done, I punched holes in the top and the bottom of each of these pieces so that I could thread them on later. To create the giant tassel, I wrapped some wool around my craft board about 50 or so times. And then I took a two meter long doubled up piece of wool threaded this through and then tied this in a very tight knot right at the very top. This will become the base of the piece that we're working with. I was then able to cut the ends of the tassel away from the craft board and I tied a knot very tightly at the top of the tassel to create the head of it and this was about a quarter of the way down. Now to piece this all together, start by using a thick wool needle and string this onto your long piece of wool. Then go ahead and add some beads and add your circles. I used a wooden bead, then a circle, then another wooden bead and another circle and so on and so forth until I completed my piece. And I also finished it off with a nice large gold bead and another wooden bead right at the very top for something a little bit different. And this is how it turned out. I like how it's really simple and quite minimal, yet it still does make a pretty big statement on the walls of my room. Next up, for you pom-pom lovers out there, I have a pom-pom wall hanging. Now, I haven't done any crafts with poms for a little while because Christmas kind of drained me, but don't you worry, I am back and the poms are better than ever. So I'm gonna share with you how I made this wall hanging. It's very simple, let's jump right in. For this project, I'm making some two-tone pom-poms in pink and white. And to do this, I started by using a large pom-pom maker, wrapping some thin pink wool around it. Once both sides were about halfway full, I then went in with some thick white wool and went over the pink wool. Once I was happy with the fullness of the pom-pom, I closed off the pom-pom maker and then just cut down the sides as per usual. You can do this tactic if you wrap the pom-pom around your hand or a piece of cardboard. Just use a couple of different colours, one after the other, play around with it and see what kind of results you get. And of course, don't forget to tidy up your pom-poms and give them a bit of a haircut. Next, you'll need to make a structure for your pom-poms to sit on. This will depend upon the size of the pom-poms and how many you're using, but just cut some barbecue skewers down to size as you can see I'm doing here. Now let's move on to the hanging wall pieces. You can use any kind of thick wool you want. I'm using a yellow colour. Fold this over about four, five or even six times to get the thickness you want. Cut it and then fold it in half creating a loop at the top. Pull your loop under one of the long barbecue skewers and then pull the ends through the loop and then pull it tight so that it sits nicely on the skewer. I'm using a little hot glue gun and then pulling that loop over the hot glue just to make sure that it's not going to go anywhere. Then repeat this step as many times as you need to fill up your stick. When you're happy with your piece, trim the ends into a nice straight line and then you're ready to move on to the next step. And that next step is gluing on your pom-poms. I'm using hot glue for this. I'm just adding a little bit and then placing the pom-pom onto it, letting it dry. And then I did start from the outsides and then went in to try and make sure that they were nicely spaced out. This piece with the tassels will become your bottom piece. So once that's done, you can move on to the top piece Take your other long barbecue skewer and add some hot glue to the middle of the pom-pom. 
Place the skewer into the hot glue and hold it in place to dry. You can add a little extra hot glue on top of this just to make sure that it's nice and secure. Then continue adding your pom-poms on either side until you're happy. Next, to assemble your pieces, place them both face down with one on top of the other, making sure the tassels are on the bottom. Then take your smaller barbecue skewers and to attach these together, use some hot glue and glue those barbecue skewers, one on the top and one on the bottom. And once again, use some more hot glue to fix these into place and make sure that they are nice and secure. To finish this off, you want a way to attach this to the wall, so use some wool or some string and tie this to the barbecue skewer at the top. Knot this once on either side, pulling it nice and tightly, and you can even use a little bit more hot glue to secure it. And this is the finished result. You know what? I think this actually might be my favorite of the wall hangings in this video. I love the colors, I love the textures, and I love those two-toned pom-poms. I've missed pom-pom making. If you want to make a bigger wall piece, if you want to make a big piece for your wall, but maybe you don't have much time or you just want a craft that requires minimal effort, don't worry, I feel you. So I decided to come up with this wall hanging. It's basically using a rug and I got mine from Flying Tiger for three pounds. So I'm gonna show you how I upcycled it very quickly. Let's get into it. This is the rug I'm using from Flying Tiger. It's so inexpensive, but Ikea do loads of cheap rugs too. You can find them in lots of places. Whatever your rug looks like, if you have any of those kind of lame looking tassels at the end, you want to go and cut those off and add your own at a later date. So to hang this up, I'm using a thick wooden dowel and just rolling the rug over the top of the dowel and hot gluing it in place, making sure that the hot glue only sticks to the rug so that the dowel can move freely underneath. Now onto the fun part, decorating the front of the rug to make it look like a textured wall hanging. For this piece I'm adding some pom pom trim in different thicknesses and sizes. You could make small pom poms and add those too if you would like, that would be a fun idea. If you struggle to find nice trims or ones in your colour scheme, you could actually make some. So here I'm making some braids by folding some thick wool over six times, tying it in a knot in the middle, and then parting it into three pieces and just braiding them over each other. Once again, I find that the chunkier wools make this kind of project easier and quicker to do. So once you've finished braiding, go ahead and tie it off into a really tight knot, cut the extra bits off, and then hot glue them straight onto your rug wherever you'd like to place them. I also wanted to create some tassels for the end of this piece. Instead of making normal tassels, which are quite painstaking and a long process, I decided to do some easy ones. So I just looped some wool over multiple times and then tied it in a knot at the end, folded it over where the knot was, and then cut it so that I had kind of these little spidery shapes, I guess. I made a few of these from that one long piece of wool that you can see here, and these are gonna create my tassels. So to do that, I folded it over where the knot was. The knot is gonna become the head of the tassel. I then used a piece of wool, wrapped that around the tassel, and then just tied it really tightly a few times. And there you have it, very simple tassels. They're not the cutest, but they're kind of like handmade looking and they go with the theme of this kind of rough looking rug. Anyway, I then just used hot glue to add these to the bottom of the rug. Very simple, very easy, you know the drill. And this is how it turned out. I really love how fun and boho this piece looks, and I also really like how many different textures it's got going on. It's got a lot to look at. And lastly, here's another very simple project, but it's really effective and it looks super cool on your wall. So I'm gonna show you how I did it right now. So the main thing you'll need here is a wooden dowel, a nice thick one, and some chunky wool. So once again, I'm folding my wool over multiple times until I get the thickness that I like, then folding that in half, pulling it underneath the dowel to create a loop, and then pulling the ends through the loop. I kept it nice and long so I had the option to have this as quite a long wall hanging and then I just kept doing this with different colours, different sizes of wool, different textures so that it had a lot of different elements going on. 
I told you this one was easy, right? Well, this one's probably the easiest one of all. Anyway, once that was done, I had to make something to hang it with, of course, so I'm using another piece of wool and tying that on either end of the piece. And then once that was done, I was able to cut the ends and hang it on the wall. And of course, don't forget, you have to tidy up the ends. I decided to cut mine into this geometric kind of angular shape. I kind of wish I'd kept it straight now, but I don't know. I like the way it turned out anyway. You can cut this however you would like. This is how mine turned out. I love the use of colors in this one. And once again, I just think it's a fun way to add some texture to your walls. So that's everything. Those are all of the projects I'm sharing with you guys today. I really hope you enjoyed it and that it inspired you to get a little bit crafty today. And yeah, that's everything I want to say. If you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.